the Lord. There's nobody like the Lord. I found out, son, he's all right. I don't know about searching the whole world, but I've looked a lot of places, been in a lot of faces, but I didn't found nobody like the Lord. Somebody shout hallelujah. Couldn't find nobody. Holly, when I needed him, he's been there all the time. When I called upon the name of the Lord, he's been there all the time. And nights when you can't sleep, he's right there. When troubles come, he's right there. When peace like a river tended my way, He's right there in the midst of it. Somebody just tell him thank you today. Oh God, thank you. Nobody like the Lord. We bless him. Come on, bless him real good. Bless the name of our God real good, real good. We love him because he first loved us. And because he loved us, he sent his only begotten son that we should have eternal life. Somebody shout hallelujah. But while we're getting there, in the meantime, somebody say, in the meantime, I shall experience the Zoe or the God kind of life. Somebody shout yes. Shout yes. Shout yes. and that more abundantly. Somebody shout, I got an abundant life. Come on, shout it again. I shall see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. I shall see it. I shall experience. I shall have it. The goodness of the Lord. Clap your hands. Give him just one praise this morning. Come on, give God a praise. If you can't dance, then tap your feet. If you don't dance, then tap your feet. Come on, clap. We're going to give some space this morning. Because I believe God deserves our praise.
deserve. And the praises of the Lord shall continually be in my mouth. The praises of the Lord shall continually be in my house. Come on, declare it. His praise shall be in this house. This house shall be a house of praise, a house of thanksgiving. This house shall be a house. Somebody just shout hallelujah. We love him because he first loved us. And despite what happens, I still love him. Despite what's going on in the world, I still love him. I still praise him. I still bless him. Jesus and I'm not tired yet so good good God and we thank him hallelujah we thank God for you this morning hallelujah tuning in and connecting with us New Jerusalem temple of the living God Sharon Robinson Sharon R Robinson the pastor of this very fine ministry and I thank God another opportunity to serve the Lord would you bless the Lord for our sons and our daughters that come and help minister each week our praise and worship ministry our sons on the instruments our AV amen people thank God for amen you think amen hallelujah our sons that our son and our daughter that ministered in prayer and scripture would you put your hands together for them and give them some love right through here Hallelujah. We're going into the word of the Lord. Hallelujah. Indeed, we are glad about the Lord this morning. Anybody else? Hallelujah. We are glad about the Lord. Father, we pray now through Holy Spirit, which helps us and helps our infirmities. We pray intentionally today, God, that uh, we hear from you and we see your mighty hand. Father, we absolutely need you. We need your power and your dominion. We need your glory to rest upon us now. We need a love that causes everything in the earth to point to you. And we say thank you. Lord, rest upon us and rest in us and operate through us. Holy Spirit, help our infirmities today. 
Only you know what we need and those that are pulling on the anointing this morning. If there be any shortcomings in our lives, we say thank you for meeting those shortcomings. Father, we say thank you for unlocking portals over our heads. Thank you, God, for the consciousness of you and your righteousness. Thank you for your divine spirit of wisdom, knowledge, understanding, counsel, might, and reverence of you. Father, thank you. We summons you now to our soul, Father, those that are waiting and listening, hoping to hear a word from you today, a glimmer of hope. And so we say, speak, Holy Father. We ask God that you would sink your mind with my thoughts. We ask God that you would connect me with those that are expecting you. And Father, you would talk to us this day. Download now the intel from heaven and let the rhema become the logos. Let the rhema from the logos begin to speak loud and speak from eternity. We thank you now and we praise you in the name of Jesus. And the people of God just say amen. We welcome you again to New Jerusalem and Divine Light. We thank God for the light of the word. It is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our pathway. And so we thank God that uh, in all of our getting that we will get understanding. Someone say man. We're turning really quick and we're not going to hold your hold you long, but we want to have your undivided attention. Amen. Put the pot roast on simmer or cut the oven down and so you can come and listen attentively to the word of the Lord. Somebody say man. Amen. Exodus uh, 31 and verse 1. And it reads, then the Lord said to Moses, somebody say, said. Then the Lord said to Moses, see, I have chosen Bezalel, son of Uri, the son of Hur, of the tribe of Judah. Somebody say, praise. And I have filled him with the spirit of God, with wisdom, with understanding, with knowledge, and with all kinds of skills to make artistic designs for work in gold, silver, and bronze, to cut and set stones, in, to work in wood, and to engage in all kinds of crafts. Moreover, I have appointed Oholab, son of a Ahisamach of the tribe of Dan to help him. Also, I have given ability to old, I have given ability, I have given ability to all skilled workers to make everything I have commanded you. Verse 7. And the tent of meeting, the ark of the covenant law, with the atonement cover on it, and all the other furnishings of the tent, the table and its articles, the pure gold lampstand, and all the accessories, and all of the altar incense, the altar of burnt offering, and all the utensils, uh, the basin with its stand. Very specific. Somebody say specific. Uh, and also the woven garments, both the sacred garments. And somebody said, where are you going with that? Just hold on. Come on. Huh? Come on. Verse 10. And also the woven garments, uh, both the sacred garments for Aaron and the priests and the garments for his sons when they serve as priests. Uh, and the anointing oil and fragrant scent, uh, uh, incense for the holy place, they are to make them, watch this, listen to the text, they shall make them, hallelujah, they are to make them just as I commanded you. 
And we find in the text, uh, Bezalel, uh, his name uh, translate protection of Elohim. Uh, and we find out he is the first man ever spoken of in the word of God as being filled with the spirit. Spirit of God. Uh -huh. In the Hebrew, Ruach HaKadosh. Ruach is spirit, HaKadosh, holy. And so he is the first mentioned, hallelujah, that is filled with Holy Spirit. And we know that Holy Spirit just didn't come on the scene, hallelujah, on the day of Pentecost. Uh, somebody say amen. Uh, the Holy Spirit has been here with God the Father and God the Son from the foundation of the world. Uh, and the uh, functionality of Holy Spirit we can find in uh, Isaiah 11 that the Spirit of the Lord, first of all, it has to be the Spirit of the Lord because we understand and recognize that there are many spirits uh, that try to imitate emulate and copy God. Somebody say amen. Uh, uh, secondly, the spirit of wisdom, the spirit of understanding, the spirit of counsel, the spirit of strength, the spirit of knowledge, and the spirit of the reverence of the Lord. Uh, somebody say amen. Uh, hallelujah. Just as the Lord has anointed us, uh, uh, he has anointed us for specific purposes uh, uh, for a specific use uh, and we find in the text uh, that Bezalel was filled uh, with Holy Spirit for service. Uh, somebody say service. Uh, he was filled for work. He was filled for employment. Uh, uh, the action of helping doing work for someone. Uh, he wasn't just uh, filled or anointed uh, like many of us, uh, we love to hear this. Uh, he was not just filled uh, for an anointed uh, to speak or to preach or to teach or to prophesy, but he was anointed for service. Uh, he was anointed to work. Uh, somebody say amen. Uh, the spirit filled this man uh, and he was anointed uh, for service, uh, working with his hands. Uh, uh, he carefully constructed the tabernacle and its furniture with the help of others according to the precise instructions of God. And I want you to watch this, beloved. Our Holy Ghost does more than just make us jump, speak in tongues, and run. Somebody shout hallelujah. And in the text I just read, it demonstrates to us that God would ensure sure that his plan would be carried out. Somebody shout God, hallelujah, orchestrates his plan to the completeness. So God ensures that his plan, hallelujah, would be carried out. That's why the Bible, Bible, Bible tells me that God begins to speak and say, I know that the plans or the thoughts I have for you. You ought to lock and load your heels when you're operating in the plan of God. God demonstrates that he would ensure that his plan would be carried out. God gave the vision. I wish I had about 27 right through here. It is God that has given us the vision. It is God that have given us the purpose. It is God that poured into us. He's the one that has given you the ideas, the innovation, the creativity. It is God that have given unto us, for it is the power of God working on the inside that must be demonstrated on the outside so a world can see that I God is God, and beside him, there is God. God gave the vision. I want y'all to hear this. He gave the plans to the leadership of 
abilities uh, to Moses. Uh, um, the body of Christ, come with me this morning. Uh, I want to speak expressly to you. Uh, it was God that gave Moses, uh, who is in leadership. Uh, it was God that gave him the vision. Uh, it was God that gave him the plans. Uh, hallelujah. But watch this. Uh, God didn't allow Moses uh, the ability to build it. Uh, that's why you're there. That's why you're there. That's why you're there. That's why you joined. That's why you connected. Because the Bible says he gives unto men several abilities. The leader got the plan, the vision. You have been given as the ability. Somebody say, I am, I am, I am. The abilities. Uh, to build it. Somebody say build it. Uh -huh. So uh, what did I say? What did you say? What did you say, girl? What did you say, woman of God? What did you say, Robinson? Let me rewind that for you just in case uh, you're a little thick this morning. You didn't have your coffee or, or you don't want to hear this. Uh -huh. God has an end result. Uh, in the mind of God, who can know it? Uh, and God would ensure that his plan would be carried out or the providence of God where where he has the guardianship over his creature and creation until manifestation. Uh, it is his divine care, uh, hallelujah, and direction. Uh, somebody say amen. Uh, and God will uh, uh, interrupt and intervene uh, to ensure that his plan uh, is carried out. Uh, that's why you can't get upset, uh, hallelujah, because of the workers of evil uh, and wickedness, uh, because God is guarding you uh, and the workmanship uh, that you have been anointed to do. Uh, that's why you can't get upset uh, and start comparing yourself uh, to somebody else because uh, God has uh, guaranteed uh, that what he spoke uh, in your life, uh, what he showed you, uh, what he's giving you the strength uh, to write, uh, what he's giving you the wherewithal uh, to articulate uh, God is going to bring it uh, he's going to bring it to pass uh, somebody shout thank you God gave the vision. He gave the plans, the leadership abilities to Moses. Uh, but Moses uh, couldn't build it. Y'all hear me? Uh, remember, God dealt with Moses and the heads. Uh, hallelujah. God dealt with him as the head. Uh, and this is where secondary leadership comes into play. And, and laity, uh, God calls Moses to be the head. Uh, in your family, uh, you have to be the head. Uh, in your corporation, uh, if God has given you the wherewithal uh, to start it, uh, hallelujah, you have to be the head. Uh, somebody shout hallelujah that's, we live in a time that's so corny uh, nobody wants the, the uh, CEO uh, to sit at the head of the table uh, they don't want daddy to sit at the head of the table uh, oh, y'all ain't gonna help me in the chat uh, hallelujah but somebody has to be the head uh, anything with two heads uh, is abnormal uh, somebody talk back to me uh, it got to be somebody uh, that has the head uh, that would transmit uh, somebody shout hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah hallelujah God deals with Moses uh, hallelujah but Moses couldn't build it Moses uh, was the head somebody say head uh, uh -huh. Moses with the head and God spoke it to Moses uh, God speaks it to Moses uh, God speaks it to Moses I want to hear I want y'all to hear that God speaks it uh, to the leader the one in charge uh, the one that has been given the greatest responsibility uh, God speaks it to Moses uh, and God speaks it or 
or relays it to his team. Uh, those that are following, those that have been caused to be the abilities in ministry. Uh, uh, you've been given uh, the charge to be the ability. Uh, somebody say amen. Uh, Moses relays it and the people obeyed it. Uh, can I give that again? Uh, hallelujah. It was God that spoke to Moses. Uh, Moses relays it uh, and the people obey it. Uh, somebody talk back to me. Uh, uh, we're living in a time uh, where obedience, uh, hallelujah, is out the door. Uh, um, the Bible tells us uh, that obedience is better than sacrifice. Uh, and just because you can do it, uh, don't mean God will accept it. Just because you can offer the fat, just because you can offer this versus obedience doesn't mean God will accept it. Somebody say man. Uh, hallelujah. In the text, uh, hallelujah, we thank God uh, that we find Bezalel. Bez uh, hallelujah. By the spirit of God, he fills him up. Uh, somebody shout anointed to build. Uh, I've been anointed to build. I've been anointed to build. Uh, hallelujah. We often uh, in times in the body of Christ. Uh, we relish on those that are anointed to sing, uh, anointed to play instruments, anointed to preach, uh, anointed to praise dance, anointed to prophesy. Uh, and that's all well and good. Uh, and it is necessary uh, because the Bible says every joint does supply. Uh, but I want to talk to those uh, that have an ear to hear uh, what the spirit of the Lord is speaking. Uh, those that don't mind uh, to be anointed to build. Uh, is there anybody in the church uh, that is still connected, uh, that understand the vision uh, and the plan of God uh, that would say, God, anoint me. Uh, anoint me to build. Uh, anoint me to assist. Uh, somebody say, man. Uh, uh, anoint me, uh, Father, to add. Uh, anoint me. Uh, and the builders, uh, these are God, the ones that are God is calling for in these days don't ever underestimate the remnant of God God prepares a people that would usher in Jesus Christ and you have to be fit for the master's use and we that hear the voice of the Lord we recognize that it's not just going to be the pulpit but it's going to be the pews it's not just come on uh, it's going to be the laity uh, that have been anointed uh, to go into all the world. Uh, somebody say, and take it uh, by force. Uh, for the kingdom of heaven suffer the violence and the violent take it by force. Uh, uh, we've been anointed to build. Uh, this is where you come in, blessed entrepreneurs. Uh, uh, your job lets you go uh, and you're crying uh, and don't know what to do. Uh, turn your plate down uh, and fast and pray uh, and ask God to stir up uh, this builder's anointing uh, in your life uh, because God is able to do uh, the impossible uh, even in this time. Uh, uh, somebody shout hallelujah. Uh, God is calling for us uh, as the church to have an ear to hear. Uh, God is looking for the builders. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, we Many of us uh, have been displaced uh, out of the building uh, and now we don't know what to do uh, it's not about the building uh, but it's about the builders uh, and those that are operating uh, in the builders anointing uh, those that are assisting and working uh, how can we do it uh, what shall we do uh, give us the intel from heaven uh, stir up innovation uh, and creativity some things have to be passed away and some things have to be brand new somebody say Lord anoint me with this builder's anointing anoint me afresh new wine new oil fresh oil God is looking for the builders, God is looking to anoint the workers. You could hide before, 
And oftentimes I'm finding right through here, people jump from one live stream to the next, never belonging anywhere, never working in ministry, huh? never giving a dime huh? to assist huh? a ministry they enjoy. Huh? But God is looking huh? for the Bible says, huh? be not deceived. Huh? God is not mocked. Huh? Whatsoever a man soweth, huh? that shall he reap. Huh? So you took a sabbatical huh? in the quarantine huh? and now you do nothing huh? in the church. Huh? The kingdom of God. Huh? You don't assist. Huh? You don't help. Huh? You don't work. Huh? You've crossed your legs. Huh? As a matter of fact, huh? you're looking at me funny right now. Huh? But I'm here to bust the bubble. Boop, 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 boop. Bubbles busting today. Huh? Cause God is saying, huh? get up workers. Huh? Get up builders. Huh? Get up thinkers. Huh? Get up doers. Huh? Shout yes. God is challenging us. Somebody say amen. In the text. We'll note that he's filled with the Holy Spirit. Uh, hallelujah. The yoke destroying, burden removing power of God. Uh, uh, he understood priority. Uh, and somebody shout priority. Uh, uh, as builders, we have to understand what priority is. Uh, the adversary of our soul uh, likes to distract us. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, uh, the water sprung a leak uh, in the pipe in the bathroom. Uh, and on your way to get it fixed. Huh? You see a light hanging, huh? but what is most important? Huh? Is it the water or the light? Huh? We have to know how to prioritize. Huh? Beloved believers of God, huh? we can't expend all of our energy and time and our thinking and our purpose huh? on the things huh? that God did not warrant in our life. Huh? The things that will bring glory to God. Huh? The things that will bring our vision and our purpose to life. Huh? The things that is in the plan of God huh, for our life. Huh? We have to understand priority. Huh? And this man of God understood structure. Huh? He understood foundation huh? and the tabernacle. Huh? It needed to be straight huh? before he concerned himself huh? with the fixture of furniture. Huh? Sometimes we get in a tailspin huh? talking about and doing things huh? Huh? that are not essential. Huh? But before he comes Concentrated, uh, hallelujah, on the embellishment uh, because too often uh, we concentrate uh, on embellishment. Uh, we want to be flashy uh, on the outside. Uh, we want to look a certain way uh, and our foundation uh, is not secure. Uh, it is not sturdy uh, or not stable. Uh, we have to pay attention uh, to ensure that our foundation uh, is sure. Uh, somebody same man huh? we got a whole lot of tongues huh? but no power huh? come on y'all talk back to me huh? we have a whole lot of gifts huh? but no power huh? a whole lot of platforms huh? and no power huh? we have the aesthetics huh? and they are good huh? but there is no foundation huh? you find what you're made of huh? when the wind comes huh? to blow huh? you found out huh? that your foundation wasn't sure huh? when the times of life huh, have come against us huh? is your foundation huh? is it sure huh? as the believers of God huh? we've been anointed huh? to build huh? build up the old waste places huh? it's our time huh? it's our season huh? we have huh? in the body huh? been anointed When God builds you, he secures you. He fills you with Holy Spirit. And we understand that the devil never backs down. Uh -huh. The devil 
doesn't back down. We know that when we do would good, do good. When we would do good, evil is always present. Y'all know what I'm talking about? And so the devil does not never back down. And can I tell you something? He don't back down to pretty and fine. <laughs> He's not going to back down. It doesn't matter whether you're beautiful, huh? Whether, come on, uh, you can sink in your garden tub. It don't matter. The devil will never back down. He understands power, authority, and dominion. Somebody say amen. Uh, uh, there are those in the body of Christ, uh, hallelujah, as, as the believers of God, we have to understand that God is in big business. Uh, hallelujah. God is the marketing genius. Uh, Y'all talk back to me. Uh, hallelujah. Oftentimes, uh, many of us, uh, and we've rehearsed this so much, and excuse me, I'm not being insensitive. Uh, hallelujah. In the body of Christ, uh, we allow people to rehearse our past, uh, and we want to keep bringing up and dredging up past hurts and past pains and, and abuse and misuse. Uh, uh, that's a marketing tool uh, that they use in the body of Christ because they know they have an audience for that a marketable audience for your pain y'all talk to me somebody's mad and I don't care Oftentimes, uh, many are crying about generational curses and, and having rotten family trees. And, and so we continue to rehearse that to people instead of telling them uh, that any man being Christ is a new creation. Uh, uh -huh. We've been regenerated. Uh, we've been given new creative abilities. And we've been given a new birth. Uh, and even though uh, it is in my generations, uh, I've learned that oftentimes uh, our thoughts should be, I need to build a tree. Come on, somebody talk back to me. Uh, oh, so what? There's generational curses, generational misgivings, uh, generational iniquities. Uh, I get it. Uh, and, and in Christ, uh, I've been given a new chance, a new start, and new birth. Uh, is anybody talking back to me? Uh, and so I can create uh, a new family tree. Uh, I can create uh, generational wealth. Somebody talk back to me. Uh, and, and the Bible tells me in 1 Thessalonians, uh, 4 11 through uh, 18 and I'm not going to read it uh, that you have to learn how to mind and attend to your own business Amen. we're running and doing everything else in everybody else's world instead of minding and attending to our own business business. It is great, hallelujah, to love on people and all of that, but make sure you're straight first. Make sure your house is straight first. Make sure your foundation is straight. Somebody say amen. Uh, it seems like uh, uh, what we talk about in the body of Christ now is elementary, um, but until we do it, uh, God is going to keep rehearsing it to us. Uh, somebody say amen. Uh, God is the author of creation. Uh, we're in his image and his likeness uh, we have the ability to create uh, we have supernatural abilities uh, I've been anointed to build uh, hallelujah look in the earth uh, see what is warranted to and need to be placed in the earth uh, see look in your ministry uh, and see what ministry is lacking uh, look at your pastor's vision one more time uh, and, and ensure that the vision is carried out uh, you've been anointed to to be the ability uh, that God spoke to your leader. Uh, somebody shout hallelujah. We've been anointed to create and build. Uh, God has anointed us uh, and given us Holy Spirit. Uh, hallelujah. We've received the promises uh, and the power and the performance. Uh, you can have, uh, hallelujah, you can have a successful marriage uh, if you build it. Uh, somebody talk back to me. Uh, uh, you can't have it uh, as successful thriving healthy if you don't build it uh, and you don't work at it uh, you can't just have a family uh, that you've seen somebody else uh, hallelujah have uh, unless you build it uh, you can't have a business like someone else's uh, hallelujah and be haphazard uh, in business uh, you have to be able to work it and build it uh, am I talking to anybody today uh, you have to build uh, we're being conformed to the world uh, and we're always talking about
while I'm grinding. Uh, and that's all well and good. Uh, but after a while, grinding uh, is not contributed uh, to building. Uh, are y'all talking back to me? Uh, hallelujah. In your grind, uh, make sure you're building something. Uh, and you're not just spinning your wheels. Uh, and you're not just running here and there. Uh, I learned a bad, hard lesson uh, right through this time. Uh, anybody know what I'm talking about? Uh, and many preachers like me uh, that always get flew out. Uh, ain't nobody flew in nowhere. Uh, and now you don't have uh, the income that you used to have. Uh, instead of working on the things that God told you to work on, uh, you were, come on, uh, you were busy uh, and you were grinding. Uh, come on, uh, going into bad health. Uh, and now you can't go anywhere. Uh, and you're sitting there now uh, asking God what to do. Uh, when God already gave you the plan, uh, he already put it in you, uh, but you didn't have time because uh, you was grinding. Uh, but now it's time uh, to build. Uh, like God said, build. Uh, God wants us to build. Uh, somebody shout hallelujah. Uh, God enables us. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, can I prophesy uh, to somebody today? Uh, God has filled you uh, with Holy Spirit. Uh, to build in the kingdom. Uh, we try to do it our way. Uh, you try to life coach. Uh, a life coach uh, is not an answer. Uh, you tried mentors. Uh, and mentors uh, have not been the answer. Uh, you tried soothsayers. Uh, and diviners. Uh, and psychics. Uh, but that didn't work either. Uh, we tried it our way. Uh, we tried it the world's way. Uh, and it didn't work. But God is imparting in us like he did Bezalel and the men that worked with him for wisdom. Somebody say, Lord. Come on, out of your mouth, out of your mouth, out of your mouth. Come on, tell him, Lord, give me wisdom. Wisdom is future tense. Watch this, builders, and I have to take my seat. To send your trajectory on trends for the future. Supernatural beings with supernatural abilities because of Holy Spirit and the facets of Holy Spirit, one of them is wisdom or future tense that gives us the trajectory for the future. Somebody talk back to me. Beloved, we have been given an inside scoop of what eternity future will look like. Ask God to show you if you have to tweak your business, tweak your ministry. Come on. Tweak the vision for the future. Is anybody with me? Uh -huh. Knowledge is retention of information to apply to current settings and situations. To know and to have understanding. Somebody say, I hear you. Not just about hype, but we must be able to establish as God said and to build according to the plan of God. Even though Moses, God showed it to him, he articulated to the people. It was the people that surrounded him that had the ability to accomplish it. Today, God would have us as the people of God that know wisdom, knowledge, understand, understanding with skill, that we should help that you may qualify for promotion. To whom much is given, much is required. And what you start, God has given the wherewithal for us to finish it. Your, your degree, your raise, it all works together. But Jesus left us a helper to ensure that this work would be finished. And Moses is not the one that was given the wherewithal to complete or to do the work. 
God put you in place that you might use your several abilities, the anointing of God on your life, to add, to assist, to help, to work, and to serve. Jesus is returning for a people where the word has been engrafted in our hearts that we operate and move in the pulse of God. There's a multitude of believers in the body of Christ that yearn to know their God, to be intimate with him, to walk in demonstration of his power and his love. So God is calling us and he's inciting us to push into his presence, to get clear understanding, clear knowledge. He's willing to push us for our experience to be supernatural. God told the men of God to look and help Moses. They were filled with the Holy Ghost. They were anointed to build. And like you and I today, we must legitimize this walk with God and be the voice, the ambassadors in the earth. We have to work while it is day, for when night comes, no man can work. We resist the adversary, resist his temptations. Not a whole lot of hope, but the word of the Lord. Not a whole lot of hype, but the power of God. We need victories. We need skills and standards in the earth. And as the believers of God, Father has given it to us through the Holy Spirit that we would occupy till he return. Today, I want you to realize and to receive this anointing to build. You've been asking God what to do, how you're going to accomplish things, how you're going to see your family through through these next few years. And God is saying to his people, the sheep of his pasture, I've anointed you to build, to carry out my plan and my purpose in the earth. Father, thank you now for Holy Spirit that has been given unto us. Thank you that you back the kingdom. Thank you that you've given us the possession and dominion Thank you that even though the kingdom of heaven suffer violence, the violent take it by force. And oftentimes it's not just in the physical, but it's in our way of thinking and doing. And the wherewithal that we might take everything that you've supplied and already predestined for us to have. Father, together we can achieve more. Together we work together. Father, cause us to understand the heart of our leaders in this time of a pandemic that they must continue to shepherd the flock, continue to carry out the vision that you gave them. Father, give the workers, give the ones that would succor ministry, give the assistance, Lord, give the finances. Father, give the resources to those that love you and love your appearing. Yes, Father, there are those that have made merchant of men, but God, we understand that they will be judged and you will reward them according to their deeds. So we thank you, eternal Father, that we call you Abba Father. Thank you, Father, that Jesus came that we might have this life and that more abundantly. Thank you for the workers in ministry. Thank you for those that continue to sow, those that continue to assist with their several abilities, those that wear more than one hat. Lord, let them not be weary in well-doing. God, that you touch every home that is associated, Lord, with the workers in ministry, with the assistants, and Father, those that give constantly to ensure that ministry does not fail or fall. We ask, God, that, that you cause these ministries that love you, that love your appearance, secure them, assist them, Lord. Send help in the sanctuary, Lord. 
send help in the sanctuary from the east, west, north, and south. Even in this time of digital and virtual, God, send help. Let them come, God, to the ministries via virtual ministry. Send help, Lord. Father, continue to guide us and lead us and empower us for the witness. Continue to impart the love of Jesus in us that he might operate through us. Continue to conform us into the image of your dear son where there is no lack, there is no loss. Father, conform us that we have tender mercy and patience. Father, the skill that we need in this hour. Father, the science and technology, thank you. Father, strengthen us and our new nature that old things are passed away. Father, cause your biblical tr truth to be revealed in us. Thank you, Lord, you give us liberty. Thank you because of salvation. You've given us the ability to serve you. When we serve a leader, we work together in ministry. We're serving you. Open up our insight and cause us to be strengthened to do the work of the ministry. It's in Jesus' name. Amen. While we're getting this part done, we're going to go right into Holy Communion. Give you opportunity to go get your cracker or your wafer or your bread and some juice. Elder Yusef is coming to do communion in just a minute but we want to thank you for tuning in to New Jerusalem Temple of the Living God we thank you for your constant participation with us in your giving if you've not been able to give and I know they're pinning it in there if you've not been able to give amen maybe a tithe or offering amen I ask that everybody that is on this live that they would give a seed today a $20 seed Amen. Uh, that will help us tremendously. Uh, you can give and they're pinning it for you. you. There's four ways to give. And we say thank you. Lord, bless the givers. Bless the tithers. Bless those that give offering. Open up the windows of heaven and pour them out blessings that there is not room enough to receive. Father, you supply every need according to your riches, which is in glory through and by Christ Jesus. Our tables are filled. Our households are supplied. We have all that we need according to your word. It is you that have given us the power to get wealth. It's in Jesus' name. If you're looking for help, you need somebody to talk to. Uh, because what we want to do in this hour is to help you. We have a toll-free number, 866-773-7350. And I'm sure they're pinning it. If you've never accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior, all the good that you do, all the kindness you have, you still must accept Jesus. All you have to do is believe in him and confess him as Lord. And the Bible says you're saved. Father, thank you for those that believe in their heart and confess you as Lord. Thank you for saving today. Thank you for delivering and setting them free. Keep them covered under the blood of Jesus and hedged in. It's in Jesus' name that we pray and thank you. God bless you and heaven smile upon you. If you hold on for a minute, Elder Yusuf will be with you and we'll take communion together. God bless you. <laughs> 